When it comes to filmmaking, it involves many stages and roles, but a vital key role that helps visualize the story is the director. Now, Agiris, you're a director from Athens, and you're famously known for creating films and commercials here in Greece, and you're currently working on a production at the moment. When did you discover your passion for film? Yeah, good question. I knew I loved writing, and I thought writing is going to be something I'm going to do, and maybe even writing for films even better. Mm -hmm. and then next day, I was walking down the street, and I passed by a bookstore, and it was like on the window, this amazing book, which was called Scorsese on Scorsese. Okay. And it was like interviews on the whole body of work of Martin Scorsese back then. Back then, uh, it was uh, right after the casino, right, which was brilliant. So I got myself enrolled in these like evening classes, uh, like Super 8 filmmaking and stuff like that. So I found some other friends there and, you know, we start experimenting with films and Super 8 and uh, video cameras, a 16 camera once, and now we're like excited. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> the best thing ever happened. So, yeah, back then I think I was like 21. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So in 2016, your film Suntan was a complete success. It was up for nominees and it won so many awards, such as the Best Screenplay at the Fest International Film Festival. There was Best Feature Film at the Edinburgh International Film Festival. And, and there was so many more, the list goes on. But were you expecting so much positive feedback for some time? Yeah, I was feeling very positive about this film. And I knew it was it would be like a very personal film, but a film that means something to other people too, which yeah. is very, very important when you're making films. Normal size crew, like around 20, 25 people yeah. that we spent a little more than two months in this amazing tiny island of Antipas mm -hmm. and we all stayed in the camping together like a tribe, you know, <laughs> and we've been all focused on on making this film and at the same time having a great time. You've spoken previously about the challenges faced when it comes to making films in Greece. What has been your most difficult challenge? You know, it's a small country that can only work with small budgets and everything. You can yeah. do like huge stuff, then again, you watch all these films and you don't want to make a film that looks tiny just because you come from a tiny country. Mm -hmm. And then you have to find ways and be really inventive to do exactly the film that you imagine initially mm -hmm. uh, with the resources you have. The world of Greek cinema has experienced a rise in the past few years with, with several Greek films, including your own, uh, doing very well on the international festival circuit, uh, some significant commercial success as well. But how do you think this has developed over the years? And, and do you think that we can hope to see this upward trend continue? I don't like cinema trends, so I hope it's not a trend. It's like just a good period of uh, good filmmakers okay. trying hard and doing cool stuff. The traditional ways of funding didn't work. If you see the credits of any Greek film of the last 10 years, you know, all of us are there, yeah. you know, in the help sec in the in the thank you section or yeah. here or there, we all somehow helped. Yeah, because I remember from previous interviews, you've said that um, it's more a combination of Greek people coming together and working on an idea. Yeah, I mean, this created a new generation of people that said like, okay, fuck it, let's go and do it the way we want to do it. Mm -hmm. And it really worked yeah. for many films. And there's so many great films. I mean, like every year there's like three or four or five really, really good films and another 10 good films. Yes. So as briefly mentioned before, you're currently working on a production right now. You're directing a feature film called Monday. It's about two Americans that fall in love in Athens and it's to be released in 2019 or 2020. And it's also your first English speaking film what do you hope to achieve from this film and the story that it entails? So yeah, Monday is my first uh, English language film. But again, it's a film that I shoot here in Greece, in Athens, yes. in my hometown, with most of the people that worked in my previous film too. Mm -hmm. Except we have an American actor and an Irish actress, and I really love them. And it's good that I'm doing my first English language film mm -hmm. in the comfort of my hometown, yeah, definitely. people that I worked with before, you know, and people I know and people I feel safe uh, to have around and everything. Uh, it's a love story, different than Santan. I think Santan is a love story too. <laughs> I mean, 
a very I'm, unique way. Yeah, I know it sounds funny, but Santan is a love story. No, no, I see it, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, Monday is a different kind of love story about two Americans falling in love in Greece and deciding to spend their life here, mm -hmm. uh, which is very non-American. Yeah. And lastly, what advice would you give to aspiring directors out there? Try and do things without uh, expecting anything and without going like, oh, maybe this is going to be like liked to the, by the festival people or these mm -hmm. people. You know, do something first that you like yourself. Leave room for coincidence. Don't believe that you can set everything and that you, you know, that you think of something and that's the only way that it can be done. Yeah. And yeah, leave room for coincidence. I mean, unless you're Stanley Kubrick. You know, if you're Stanley mm -hmm. Kubrick, keep being. Stanley Kubrick, yeah. but if you're not, leave room for things to happen. Ask the people around you, people from your crew, if you know they have a better idea for a shot or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I mean, being the director doesn't necessarily mean that you know everything and you're like the king and that's yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, Afkaristo, thank you very much. Thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, thank you. Pleasure.